Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, we are M Square Projects. On this channel, we explore theoretical approach to the FEA and engineering projects that helps to understand concept and grow expertise. Today we are going to understand about type of contact. Before jumping into the topic, let's understand what is contact and what is constraint. Constraint is a nothing but body to body connection which is given in the, a 3D modeling software to define an assembly. When we take this assembly into an analysis software, we have to define a contact. For defining a contact, we need a contact body and one target body. For example, here there are two cubes touching to the each other. So we have to define a contact body and one target body. Surface of a contact body touching is called as a contact side and this is called as a target side for a target body. Now what happens when we define a contact? It will help the software to define a stiffness matrix for that particular problem. Now how we can select which is the contact body and which is the target body. So for selecting of a contact as well as a target body, there are two thumb rules. First one is based on a stiffness and second one is based on a finer mesh. So let's understand first thumb rule, stiffness thumb rule. So when we defining a contact and a target body, lower stiffness body will be considered as a contact body and the higher stiffness body is considered as a target body when we compare to these two bodies touching to the each other and when there is a penetration happens inside the bodies during the analysis or after the analysis then we have to reverse these things means based on a finer mesh we have to define the bodies so what is the second thumb rule whichever is having a finer mesh in your analysis is called as a contact body while which is the having coarse mesh is called as a target body so as per the first thumb rule higher the stiffness it will be target body lower the stiffness it will be a contact body and in case of a second thumb rule higher the mesh it will be a contact body and lower the mesh is called as a target body so here when we have higher mesh for the contact body, that body will not try to get penetrated into a target body. Now let's understand type of contact. Type of contact is defined on based on the two criteria. First one is a when the bodies can slide into the tangential direction. And second one, bodies can separate in the normal direction. So based on these two rules, we have total five number of contacts. First one is a bonded contact. What is mean by bonded contact? When we are, we are saying that two bodies are bonded to each other. So they cannot slide in the tangential direction as well as they cannot separate in the normal direction. So bonded contact is nothing but it's a welded contact or glued contact where bodies will not separate from each other as well as will not slide in the tangential direction. Second contact is a no separation. So as name indicates, it will not separate in the normal direction, but it can slide in the tangential direction without any friction. Now third one is a friction lace contact means there is no friction when those are sliding in the tangential direction as well as those bodies can separate in the normal direction. Now the frictional contact in the frictional contact as name indicates there will be a friction when it is sliding in the tangential direction but it can separate in the normal direction. So here coefficient of a friction will not be equal to zero where in case of frictional lace contact it will be a, a zero. Next is rough contact. 
so rough contact is nothing but a contact where it cannot slide in the tangential direction but it can separate in the normal direction that means there is a high coefficient of friction into two bodies rather it will be infinity coefficient of a friction that means it will not slide in the tangential direction so based on these two parameters we define this five type of a contact now let's understand in the tab table format so first contact is a bonded contact which cannot slide in the tangential direction as well as cannot separate in the normal direction no separation contact where it can slide in the tangential direction freely while it cannot separate in the normal direction frictionless contact it can slide in the tangential direction without any friction while it can also separate in the normal direction frictional contact bodies can slide in the tangential direction with coefficient of a friction not equal to 0 and also it can separate in the normal direction rough contact where coefficient of friction is infinity that means it cannot slide in the tangential direction but it can separate in the normal direction now if you observe first two contacts cannot separate from each other that's the reason those are called as a linear contact where stiffness matrix will not vary over the period of loading but in case of these three contacts the bodies can separate in the normal direction so stiffness matrix can vary over the period of loading that's the reason stiffness matrix may vary over the loading it's called as a non-linear contact hope you have understood the types of a contact and its terminology if you like the video please subscribe and like the video and for more videos on the fea you can click on the playlist linked here thank you see you guys in the next video